Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, on a very happy Victory Tuesday as the Rangers punch their ticket to the World Series. It has been a long time, 2011 was the last time the Rangers went to the World Series. We've never won it, and yet here we are, four victories away. We'll either be facing the Phillies or the Diamondbacks. I think we match up better against the Diamondbacks, but, you know, we'll see. Uh... Max Scherzer pitched game seven last night. It was a romp, really. The Rangers were up 3 nothing after the first, and it, it kind of cruised from there. There were some threats by the Astros, but really it was a game dominated by the Rangers' offense. Adolis Garcia hit the game five. He got whacked <laughs> and by Abreu, you know, fisticuffs, baseball fisticuffs, which is always like just a bunch of yelling and pushing and stuff ensued and then you had uh the Altuve walk off in game five game six grand slam two more home runs tonight he wins ALCS MVP no question most RBIs ever by a player in an LCS I think actually in any playoff series now that I think about it uh if you would have told me at the beginning of the season that or not even in the season at the beginning of the series that Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon combined would have two home runs, three RBIs, all of which, by the way, were by Seager. Simeon had no homers, no RBIs in the entire series, and that the Rangers would win, I would have thought you were absolutely crazy. And here we are. Um, it's just, for a fan, I'm kind of like, we're, we're way, you know, playing with house money at this point from where the expectations were. Being in the World Series is great. I'm sure I'll be disappointed if they ultimately lose the World Series because I just want them to win. And, I mean, I couldn't think of it. Tomorrow's my birthday, by the way. I will be 50 years old tomorrow. And what a great birthday gift <laughs> for the Rangers to give me. Uh, not that they knew they were giving it to me, but what an amazing deal uh had a little party this last weekend i got a new ranger sweatshirt i got all kinds of rangers gear but it was it's weird on my birthday party i got rangers gear and alcohol that might be telling you something <laughs> i mean it was so funny how many bottles of of whiskey i got it was pretty great i mean i have whiskey enough whiskey till rapture now and a bunch of rangers gear in new jersey all kinds of great stuff so Still waiting to go get my swag. I went to a couple stores today. They were already all sold out of World Series gear. So the Metroplex here, Dallas-Fort Worth area is pretty Rangers crazy right now. It's just a lot of fun to be playing baseball still this late in October. The Mavericks kick off their season tomorrow night. The Cowboys are in full swing. The Stars are playing and playing well. So it's rare that we get all four sports happening all at the same time. It's fantastic to be a sports fan right now in the Metroplex. So yeah, again, no more cards today. I wish uh, I may do like a Rangers tribute <laughs> at some point showing cards of the different players on the team, but I, I don't have a ton of them. Honestly, I've got a few things from 2023 tops, but really I don't, I don't have a Seager rookie I have an Adolis rookie. I think that's about it. I have a Scherzer rookie, but I don't have a ton of cards of these players. I've thought about, do I want to get the Tops Now stuff that might be coming out over the next day or so? Maybe. Uh, I've never been a big fan of that stuff, but we'll see. All right, that is it, guys. I am going to just be done for today. Quick, just excitement beyond excitement. I was so excited. My phone blew up last night after the Rangers won. Lots of great memes, all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this next week and a half or so of baseball that's still going here in Texas. We'll talk to you guys soon. Keep collecting.